Jake Cutler and Dave Bell have taken the golden combination of brightly colored vans and festivals to a whole new level. Yes, they've created Jam in the Van, the world's first solar-powered music studio in which they've road-tripped across the states in search of the best music. Welcome, Jake. Um, how did you come up with this idea? Uh, thanks for having me, guys. Um, it was just grew out of a mutual love of going to music festivals and hating the jobs that my buddy Dave and I were at at the same time. And we used to rent RVs to go to the festivals, and instead of rent one, we decided let's buy one and bring the festival to us. Well, it still sounds like you took a big risk since you didn't know anything about the music industry. But how did you find bands that were willing to play in your van? I, yeah, I, it was a bit of a risk, I guess. Um, we, you know, we, we basically use the internet. It's a great resource for music, always has been. And uh, it was pretty much just grassroots reaching out, um, looking up Facebooks of bands that we thought were kind of on a level where they would want to drive over with all their gear and meet some guys they didn't know in an alley and get in their van. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we started really small, just a lot of bands around L.A. that had, you know, small followings were just kind of starting up just like us. And once we got some content built and could show people what we did and how well we did it, uh, it was easier. And now the bands come to us, so that makes it much easier. Uh, in the years you've uh, been traveling, what, uh, what's the most memorable experience you've had? Oh, man. It's, you know, there's a lot of moments where you kind of stop and say, damn, this is, this is cool. I'm glad I'm doing this instead of being in a law firm. Um, I, you know, the first time we went to Bonnaroo was really cool because that was uh, the festival that we used to go to um, when we were just fans. And, and so when we were there and backstage and doing our thing and we kind of stopped and said, damn, this, this is really cool. We, we, to a certain extent, have succeeded. Um, so there's, there's been a lot of little points along the way where, where you know, you stop and, and, and think about how cool it is, what, what you've done. Uh, recently, we just did a really cool thing down in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. We partnered with GQ Magazine and had like a really cool house with GQ that 40 bands came to over the course of six days and we filmed all of them and threw a really good party and, and that was another kind of like, damn, you know, we're working with GQ Magazine now, so it's and really cool. And in short, what is your next big dream for Jam in the Fan? Uh, hard to in short that one. I mean, we, we are looking to get like a, a headquarters in Los Angeles where we can keep the van at all times and have bands come and hang out. Um, we're looking to expand the types of content we do. Right now we put out sessions uh, and interviews, and we're looking to add a couple more shows to our roster. Um, and, you know, we want to we wanna build this thing as big as we can get it. Nice. It sounds like you're living the dream, man. And uh, if you yeah. want to discover more music made in the van, check out jaminthevan.com.